so today I'm here with today I'm here with Gita here or Gita here so you know I got it in this drawstring bag seen the wig first let's see what else we got in the package I got a pair of wig caps also got a Gita hair um, elastic headband I got a extra adjustable, well, an extra elastic band. You can attach this on the inside of your wig. Yeah, that's everything that came in the package today. All right, guys. So the wig we're working with, this is a gorgeous chocolate brown straight textured wig. It's 24 inches long and at 180% in density. Right off the bat, I can tell you this is very soft. It's very nice with the movement. Super flowy. Realistic luster. Um, and they just plucked it very lightly. You could go in and pluck it further if you want more graduation. But I feel like, you know, it's not dense. It's not super thick in the hairline. So it can still come out very nice and realistic. And as you can see, it's that nice chocolate brown color from the root to the tip of the hair looks really good and it's also a 13 by 4 so you know that's how it looks on the inside you could go ahead and bleach and tint this if you wish because it doesn't come with all of that done already so it's totally up to you um there is also a total of four combs on the inside of the cap as you can see and adjustable straps in the back portion to get it tighter or loose or you know to your liking looks really really good guys really good so now that i show you guys let me go ahead and get started on this install i'm just gonna be doing a very light layer of glue for this install today um nothing um too layered up because i'm gonna be wearing this for you know just a short period of time but this is really really nice so, so you know the number one thing that i usually have to do is measure it up see how well it aligns with my hairline and um, from there I can see if it's way too far past my ears and then I can cut off the excess so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and I really love how the this hair feels as I said before it's very soft and luscious what you could do is you could mark out the part that you need to cut off if it's too difficult to do it on your head and cut it, take the wig off and cut it. That's a little hack that I learned. I didn't invent that, just to put it out there. I'm going to do the same thing to the next side. But so far, it looks really good. I'm just going to go ahead and apply i'm not doing ball cap makeup today in a very long time so i'm just gonna apply my glue and i'm gonna cleanse away the area that i'm applying my glue you know just so that we have a clean canvas working with this is always a must step a step that you must do because you just want to ensure the area is clean so that the adhesive sticks properly and also that you don't like risk getting any breakouts and stuff like that. You like clean, cleanse the area, guys. So I'm wearing some powders right now. I don't want all of that on the area that I'm going to be applying the glue. So just cleanse the area away. Then I'm using the usual, the Erica J. Hold Me Down. did one you guys know I do this thing where after I use the glue I get my spray still and I'll do like like a light layer of it on the glue this just works as a like quick sealer like it allows the lace to kind of like just grab the area right away and I just love that 
usually get you guys know that I apply my wig in halves, but you know, I feel like you know, I'm just doing one layer. Sometimes you can, I, I do it this way too, really rare, but it's something that I've been doing a little bit more since recently. But you can do whichever way floats your boat. Most people do it where this way, where they put it on one time. I feel like when you do it in halves, you, halves, you have better control on just placing it and allowing each section to kind of like marinate and really stick. Like, but you can still take your time if you do it this way too. So it's all up to you or what you prefer, honestly. So. I'll just go ahead and I'll tie down the area. any area that's lifting you can always go back over that area with like you know a tad bit of glue to just Help to melt it down. This is definitely looking how it's supposed to look. Please note, absolutely no baby hair. As I said, the only thing is, you could definitely, you could definitely give this a little bit more graduation if you please. But right now, what I'm gonna do is actually get my hot comb to get this flatter. I'm gonna do a center part, but we're just gonna, you know, brush this back a little bit. And you see, once you get it down flat, you really see that. Okay, you can definitely. Go ahead and wrap this out the box without plucking it any further. Looks really good. And I did minimal side burns. I really don't do it too heavy. So you see, you don't have to do any baby hairs or anything. Looks really good. And um, I'm just going to do like very light swoops. I'm just going over it at this point just to be extra. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm going to run through it with my um, flat iron once I am through with laying the top. I'm going to just go through the hair section by section just to get it as flat as possible. Because you know we love a flat wig. The flatter the wig the more realistic it looks. How flat that is laying guys really really nice and I laid this and I didn't even do any baby hairs as yet so what I'm gonna do you guys know me I'm gonna do okay I'm first gonna brighten this center part so that you know the look can just look a little bit more together it looks a little weird I'm just 
gonna go ahead and do very light swoops. So you see, totally optional, you don't have to do the swoops, but you know, add a little bit more character. All up to you. I know some of you guys will be like, oh, I go better with the swoops. And some be like, yes. You know, it's all up to you. If you get it and you don't want to do any swoops, don't do it. If you want to, then you do it. Okay? Now look at the hair. This is before going in to... Just touch it up with my straightener. You really don't have to. Like you really don't have to. It looks. Look at that movement before applying any flat iron to the hair. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the quality so far, in terms of the texture and everything, movement, everything, definitely a ten. It's easy to work with, as you can see how flat it's laying initially. Out of the package, it's just a normal wig. It needs. It needs some shaping <laughs> so you know you're going in but it really doesn't take a lot of work so I love that so now I'm just gonna run through the entire wig you know lightly with my flat iron running through the hair it's literally like butter it's so sleek like it speaks for itself movement everything it's super flat the movement is really nice it's giving 26 inches not 24 so that's a plus like it's very luscious guys very luscious Gita hair, they did their thing. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Either Gita hair or Gita hair. One out of the two. They're doing it. I'm going to be sure to drop the direct link on this wig, of course, in my description box. So please go ahead and check it out if you guys are interested in that really nice, sleek, chocolate brown 30 by 4 lace front wig. It's, it's doing good so far. Shedding minimal. Okay, minimal shedding. So that is just what you need. Just what you need in your life. And I love when I get a straight extra. These are the qualities I look for in it. Like nothing less. Nothing less. It doesn't have a bunch of flyaways. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't move. It's not stiff. Like no. Mm-mm. 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 This is it. Yeah, so please go ahead and check out my description box, all the specifications and all necessary links. If there are any codes, you'll see that in the description box. You know, any sale going on, anything like that at all. Please go ahead and check it out. Shout out to Gita here once more for this gorgeous wig today. And that's it for today's wig, wig look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So, bye. <laughs>